And welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Baldur's Gate 3. Um, actually, one thing I can probably do is increase the volume. I noticed on the last one that um, just the volume in general was a little low, so increase that a little. Maybe that'll help out. Um, right. We're in the we're in the crypt. Um, good place to be. All right. Uh, should we have a long rest before we open this? Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. I've heard you can't get oh. blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems interesting. Oh yeah, that's right. We can talk to all our people. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay. Right. I should try to remember that. Um. Here, one, one second. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to, <laughs> I didn't actually mean to click on her. Um, what I wanted to do was use guidance on us. So that when we do this, and we explore the ruins, we have some better shots at any checks that we may have here. Well, that doesn't look, uh, ominous at all. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as all. What a curious way to awaken. <laughs> now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's hmm. life? That's a good question. Quite the question. What's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? A little spooked by the crawling out the tomb bit. What are you? Peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Um, Quite the question. What's the reason for it? Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yeah. So I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? No one's life is more than any other. We're all equal. Depends on the person's deeds. Life's only value is as currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Ah. Do like that. Um, each life is an infinite value and merit sacrificing everything for. No, the only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Um, I like that life one. Life and how it is lived are different equations. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Perfect. Oh, we've all explored the tomb. All right. The strange figure said he'd see us again. Probably from his greatest secret, but there's no harm in checking for more valuables. Agreed. Oh yeah, and then also a wizard named Gale has joined the party, he claims to be on the Nautiloid, which means he's infected as well. Well, let's check this out. A soul coin. These cones can power infernal engines. We'll need those for later. Arrow of darkness, arrow of many targets. Okay. Um, actually, those arrows we should probably give to Starion. Hmm. 
We have nothing more that I must attend to this place after so many years. Okay. Oh, I thought he was just gonna we go. So again soon. Well, seems like you've read ahead in our little the story. Mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. All right, well, let's get our butts up to this door, because that's just a door while the other one was like a heavy oak door, right? Yeah. Um, always partial to do guidance before going through a door. You never know when you might need it. Book of Dead Gods. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Okay. Arcana. Strength. Uh let's try Arcana. Well that's gonna be unfortunate. We could get Kate. We should probably be able to get Gale to try. Oh, a moment here. The tone does not take kindly to your tampering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin, pricking and prodding. Okay, good times when the dog decides he needs to bark. Um, no, we're not going to try smashing the lock open. In fact, we'll just go over to Guidance on to Gale. And maybe even Bardic Inspiration on him. to try that out. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Oh, wizard intelligence. Knock the door open with lock open with a spell. Interesting. DC 10 15 I mean, if I just knew that, I wouldn't have used a thing, but no, we'll try this first. I feel like that's a bit more appropriate. It's also a very good roll. Is the Book of the Dead, is it not? Well, well. Or Book of Dead Gods, is that what it said? Gods. These are the names of yeah. gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close nice. together, but are so devastated by the school as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. It's pretty neat. And he's inspired. Also inspired. So inspiration is neat. So inspiration lets you spend a reroll on an ability check. Which is pretty cool. We'll take that. Agreed. No traps, please. Three scrolls of protection from evil. Okay. Let me 
do anything down there. No, it's all a chasm. All right, looks like that is it from over here. Oh. Can we not, like, take it with us? I feel like that's something we should bring with us. <laughs> I wonder if um, Withers has anything to say about it. More to discuss. I must attend this place after so many years away. Okay. Nothing else. Um, I have a feeling we probably should use our next short rest here. I mean, we're going to go into this crypt. So oh, it would be nice to have everyone fully ready or maybe not well, guidance there we go Look at that. Light on my feet. This place wasn't built for the living. Nope. Sure doesn't seem like it would have been. All right. Torch on the ground, nice. Um, and actually, what we can do is this, right? Can, or can we not do a wield? can't. I thought we could dual wield them. How do we know if like our um, dark vision is on as well? That's something I don't know because this is very dark. Oops. I wonder if there's like a, a sense. Um, I should probably try and figure that out. On death and resurrection, eh? Okay. The so there's if you've ever played like the Divinity series as well, there's a ton of just overarching like lore in books. I'm not gonna read them all out loud, but you are more than welcome to take a pause here and read it all. If it's um If it's something that's overtly uh, hmm, door or heavy oak doors, I think just the door would be fine. Um, if it's something that would be, you know, something that we, it would make sense um, lore wise or quest wise, we'll read it. Oh, where does this door go? The refectory. Oh. Okay, well. Okay. We're gonna all come up here. Oh. 
Okay. Ow. Okay. Well, first off, let's get back over here a bit. And secondly, I guess that's been uh, <laughs> closed or whatnot. Let's just do a blade ward for now. Okay. Hmm. Just get out of the fire for now. Interesting. Now, like, what the heck are we supposed to do here? I feel like we should just all get out of the water, or out of the fire. Um... Burning for one to two more turns, not necessarily great. Can we... Just get back out of here? Yeah, that's gonna not be great, is it? Hmm. Can we throw? There we go. Throw that at you. And then move back. Well, they're trying to figure out that door. Um, yeah, we can just head back out. Seems like a good plan, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that was fun and exciting. Is that blood? No, never mind. Bad things are through that door. <laughs> Apparently, shouldn't have went that way first. Okay. My face protects me. That's not a good sign. Um, okay. Uh, we'll then put guidance on to disarm that, please. There's going to be a lot of traps in here, isn't there? Traps. How considerate. Do we get experience for disarming traps? No, oh, technically you do in, uh... Oh, that's a critical. Yeah, that's nice. Technically, you would in D&D. &D. It's like, um, 
experience based off of the trap level and stuff, just like a monster. Assuming there's more... Ah, yes. Let's just go around disarming everything before we touch anything else. Jeez. This is dangerous, to say the very least. I mean, you can't reach. Hmm. Don't like that. Okay, so it looks like there's still one over there that we can't... ...open yet, or uh, get to and disarm. And actually, I think Guidance wore off, didn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's a one. No, we're not going to use our inspiration for that. We'll just try it again. Yeah, if they're not active, don't think it matters. Soul coins and things. Nice. Ringmail armor, but it's heavy armor. Okay. Jugs. Ooh, the Watcher's Guide. Engraved key. And I think there was a plaque here. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. One with the weave. Can you check it out? No. Got it. Okay. I mean, we have a button here that I want to press. I'm assuming it activates the traps. I mean, that would be my assumption on that. And we should go check out that, um, spear. I think it was a spear that we got. Okay. Yeah, let's check this out. So much stuff in here, right? Um, we'll add all that to wares. Now, who picked it up? Okay, Death's Promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains True Strike. Spear. Shadowheart proficient with that. Yes. Well, that's just better. It doesn't do a lot of damage. 1d6 minus 1 versus 2 to 7. 1d7. Wait, no. Wait, why when we're... That was weird. It's 2 to 7. Okay, yeah. So it's the same amount. So nothing changes there. It just has a cool ability. If she misses, she gets True Strike. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. 
and we can go through this door now. Oh, this brings us here. Okay. So how do we... Oh, I wonder if those people are like through that door. Okay. Well, I'm tempted, before we go fight them, um, to use the Song of Rest. So we'll get up to that door. So we'll come up around here. I don't think anyone's able to uh, move that rock yet. I think we'll need Lizelle for that. I guess we could waypoint it to there. Uh, what's up that way? Nothing really. Not yet, anyways. So let's just uh, continue down this way and go deal with those people. At the chapel entrance. I mean, there was a lot in here. So I kind of thought we would have dealt with them here, but apparently not. Oh, um, speaking of which, we could go speak for dead. Oh. How do we use it again now? Because isn't it a, uh, thing we, oh yeah, right here. seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Oh. Oops. That one doesn't look like we can. Okay. Well, good to know. We kill things and, uh, can't speak with them after. Okay. Let's. <laughs> Let me in now. I killed your friends. I'm here for you. No performance. Yes, it's me. Let me in. Deception. Trigger some trap. He needs help now. I like this. Gnome and performance? At that point, I shouldn't even have to roll. You sound a bit shaken, Max. Hang on while I find the key. Okay. Looks like we can just go in then. Uh, okay. Well, we're going right into it, aren't we? Well, since you missed, you get to do that again next turn. And since you missed... That that's just actually quite terrible. This is worth the cost. Here, nice. He's surprised, so he doesn't get to go. And let's just back up a bit. All right, hit him again. And we still missed. Even with True Strike. That is... What is going on with you guys? No choice but to keep going. He already has... No, he doesn't have... Oh my goodness. How are we supposed to fight him if we can't even hit him? My goodness.
All right, let's get there to you as far as we can. Ray of Frost him. Pretty sure we're not going to want to have him get away. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, is this where we... Yeah. Okay. So those other guys are right out there. Bandit's key. Makes sense. We're not going to pull that lever yet. Looter's trunk. Nice. Basically going to want to pick up everything that we can. It is like, um, oh, you know, crafts of wine, dried sausage links, all that type of stuff we're going to want to grab. Craft of water, I think, is also good for food and stuff. Shells. Just straight bottles of water, I don't think, are. Or bottles, I mean. I don't know, though. I mean, we do hear them all right there, but these are just milk cans. Cutting boards, shelf. Nope, nothing there. Stack of books. Always take some books. Curse of the Vampires. Okay. Well, we're going to read all of the... Well, not read them, but put them... Lovely. Yep, we know who. Mr. Withers. Alright. Um. Open. We're gonna send this all to camp. There we go. Because that is something you can do in this. <laughs> is send everything like that to the camp so we uh, don't need to keep it on us. Same thing with the money. Uh, so this is the Curse of the Vampire. Again, let you guys read it at your own leisure here. I am going to skim through them as well, but I'm not going to read it out loud. Deadly God. So this one's actually a bit more relevant, so I'll read this one. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. For countless aeons, it was Jurgel, because that is the... That guy that we saw over there, not Withers, but um, his statue and everything was over there. The lord of the end of everything presided over morality. Mortality, with his unblinking stare, and even when he grew weary, young Ball, Bane, and Merkel. Um, so those are three evil gods. Um, must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death. Yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Okay, and also Ball and Bane. Um, I remember Merkel in the first two Baldur's Gates. Um, but Ball and Bane are definitely forces there that we have to worry about. So, the fact that this is talking about them is already not great. Merkel claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths, sees by Ball. Yep. It is an incessant greed. And what need would there be for noble Kelmovor to judge Pashtun's souls if one deity could hold the process entire? 
Even gods can die, after all. Those who worship death should remember above else. Okay. The ball spawn crisis. So this... This is probably from... Oh yeah, so this is kind of cool. This is a throwback to Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Um, so we'll read this as well, because I'm just interested in this. Of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble, little thief. That's a... Uh, that's a uh, Imowen. Always in everyone's business. And that ward of Grine went right along with her. No surprise, oh, God's blood was running in their veins. Teravok and his lot always are always the first ones to come to mind. You know this all started with a bit of iron in Nashville. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Yep. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Ball, I curse Irenicus, and I curse you. Hostile vampire, you yeah. <laughs> know? So that's from uh, the second game, Baldur's Gate 2. The first two were from Baldur's Gate 1. The five tore Tether to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Ball Spawn showing up it would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping... Every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up at the Sea Tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if it ball spawn got stuck to him? Their father's the killing type, after all. That's, that's a actually pretty cool book. Um, actually, both of those were... Book of the Dead Gods, we want to keep that. Who knows when we'll need that again. Okay. Something the oh, oops. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted everybody to... Okay, um... And I want to enter turn-based mode. How do we do that? Are these guys all hurt? No. Eighty-eight. 88 advantage. Okay. We'll come back to you in a second. Okay. It's like, this is where I wish I had a fireball. Um, I can restore. He's, he's supposed to be um, hiding. I guess he did that, so he's not hiding. So I want him over here. Shadow Heart. He can just come out. Okay. Um, to be perfectly honest, I do. I want to do this. Did they not see that because he was hiding? Okay. And then us can be right here. Well, actually, what we could do. Yeah, no, that's... Kind of want to see if they come up this way. Hiding failed, yep. You guys that are in combat. Rude. Okay, Astarion 
is not in combat. And he'd have a good chance of just hitting that one. Nope, not anymore. Let's let's do that. Good old environments. And duck back in here. And hide. Yeah, we're going to want to try and get as close as we can. Can't quite get there. That's unfortunate. Sacred Flame. Nice. Sixty percent. We even have a chance to kill. We would. All right, let's go for it. Nah, we didn't get it. Okay. Same thing with you. Fifty-five versus. 65 and 65. Let's do that. Critically missed. Should have used mage uh, or magic arrow. Mage arrow. Is he throwing rocks at me again? Oh, he dipped his club in fire. Okay, that could have been worse. really want to um, yeah let's do this vicious mockery so he has has less um, chance to hit we can't actually reach him Good. Sneak attack if we are able. Hiding successful on the sh Ow. Got out of it. That is very unfortunate. Okay. Critical miss again. Oh, that's unfortunate. This could hurt. Especially since he's raging. Whoa. Okay, let's just try hitting. Well, now we have true strike. Hiding successful, nice. Wow. This is this is just terrible. Reminds me of uh XCOM all over again. Critical miss. Here's your ninety-five percent chance to hit, right? Yeah. Like There we go. At least that feels better. Well, so much for peace. Um, advantage. At least she's up now. What should I do? Oh. Where do I go from here? Okay. Nothing we can really do. She can just kind of stand there. Two. He has two health left. This is unfortunate. Well, he threw something and missed. Come on, Shadow. There we 
There we go. Hi. We're going to take everything that we can. Encumbered. Not that surprising. That was fun blowing up everything. I hear you. Okay. We're gonna send all of these to Shadowheart. Um, as well as that. Leather boots don't actually do anything. Leather gloves also don't actually do anything. They just look neat. Um, We can add to wares. I think anyone really needs any of those, so send that to Shadowheart as well. And we should have a lot more space. Journey through the jungle. Okay, so this is just a like a storybook. So yeah, feel free to read through that. Okay. Perfect. Um, we're not encumbered, but we're not, you know, not encumbered. So um, she has a whole bunch of stuff now, which is nice. Perfect. Does she have any more spells left? No. Still breathing. Nor do I. Taste. Okay. Let's toggle on light source. Let's just kind of loot all this stuff in here and then we'll call it a day. Take a look at all the books afterwards, that's for sure. There's going to be billions of them. The Unclaimed, okay. Ah, the Lady of Loss. So this is also regarding some of these um, gods and whatnot. So we'll pick that up, we'll take it with us. I mean, there's no reason not to. Actually, from what I remember, those are worth a decent amount of coin. Alright. Chapel records over there, which we'll get to. This <laughs> is gonna be so many books. But that's okay. We like to read. Am I encumbered again? Yeah, okay, too many books. Um, we should be able to sort this all by latest. Yeah, okay, two of these unclaimed books. So these, all right. I should probably send all of the books to, um, oh, look, yeah, see, look. We've got so many of these. We'll send these to, like, Gale. Um, and then I want to sort by type. There we go. Fine dust coats the page of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grobian tipple, ill matter, drowning. Ivan, Arkansan, Ogma, Internal Rot, Devon Stout, Saluni, Fever. Okay. I'm not going to take the chapel records. Doesn't seem good to do. Ooh. 
There is a lever back here. What was that? <laughs> that is a good question. What was that for? Nothing like opened up over here that we see, right? There's a plaque. Was the plaque there? You do not recognize the language on the plaque. Huh. In the refectory, eh? Oh. Was this here before? Yes, yes, this was here before. That's the vase. Book of Final Breath. Dense Rose of Scroll of Text. A few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. So this is more. Come see this. It's Maj Pinner Labrador Explosion. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm? Rothcrest waylaid in Neverwinter Alley. That's a very familiar name. I think that's in... Is that in Icewind Dale, the games? Maybe. That is a very familiar name. You're blocking my light. Donnery, Water Avian Featherlung. I mean, no reason not to pick that up. I didn't do something over here, right? Okay. Maybe it was just a, uh... It almost looks like you can get out there or something. But you obviously can't. Okay. There is a door here that we'll check out. And this is just where we were, where we got ambushed by them, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Shabby wardrobe. Sometimes you get some cool clothes out of those. climb up there to get it, that's funny. Curse of the Vampire again. One golden piece. Okay. Yeah, well I don't know what that button did. I don't see anything else, so unless it's to actually open like this door, maybe? Like, we opened this by doing the candles. So maybe there's something with that, or maybe you can just press that other button back there and it'll open it. Um. We should just be able to leave now. Right, head this way. And out the door. The ancient door. We're now on the Ravage Beach. Okay. Um, oh, see, look at that. Speak with dead. We can actually do it on this dead fisherman and see what's going on here. Interesting. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? How are, are we close to the city? Okay. How did you die? Okay, 
So it sounds like they were chasing um, a Starian. Or a Starian was chasing it. Okay. I just couldn't see if we could. Yeah, there we go. Do this one as well. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Alright, who are you? What were you doing here? How did you die? Anyone survive? Where did that person go? Oh, I wonder if that was Lysel. Went west. Another inspiration point. That's very nice. Um, west. Woman. Weird. I don't think we can get in over to this, like, blacked out section either. It doesn't look like we could. That's one thing you have to look at the maps to, like, see. You can see these little contours and things. So you can... That's one thing you can do to kind of be like, oh, can we get up to this spot or, you know, go around? Like, how do we do this? Oh, because there's a little path there. Stuff like that. Okay. What we're going to do, we're actually going to go to our camp. And we're going to do a long rest here and pause the game. Um, pointed at Traveler's Chest. Yeah. So... This is one neat feature about this game, is you have... Oh, Withers is here. Um, we have our own camp that we can set up at any time and send our companions here and they'll hang out here. Um, if we ever have more than four, etc. As predicted. Shall be here in my camp for whenever thou hast need of my service. Um, care to explain why you're sure. helping me? It is not by choice. Great, lovely. Uh, what kind of skirmishes? Of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish? Yeah, so he can resurrect you. Um, incredibly powerful magic. Why is it easy for you? It is my calling. There is little else to explain. Mm hmm And we can also change our class and respec with him as well. A matter of coin. So 200 going. All right. There we go. On top of that, we can also talk to our companions while we're here. Um, oh yeah. That is um, one thing I wanted to look at too. The crafts of water. I mean, they sell for a decent amount, so... Okay, let's talk to Shadowheart. <laughs> Everyone's all bloodied. That's right. You can find, like sponges and rags and stuff and you can wipe blood off of people it's kind of funny what do you think of all that's happened to us so far, that far yet. what are you referring to exactly you must have thoughts about our little stowaways what will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles how am i holding up must i thinking about it won't help we know what to do so let's do it find a way to rid ourselves of these things we've no solid leads right now though We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. Perfect. And what will you do if we manage to remove them? I suppose them? we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. 
No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Okay. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Alright. Uh, seems personal. I won't pry if it's something you don't want to talk Thank about. Anyway, seems like she's a pretty private person. A delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. And how am I holding up I your estimates? You've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Alright. Um. Can we get to know each other? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Uh, we have to rely on each other easier if we knew each other as well. of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. All right. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Uh, all right. There we go. So yeah, like I said, you can kind of talk to them and everything. We also have the traveler's chest here so you can send things to camp here. That's cool. Uh, I guess that's just something that we start with. Change, change colors of stuff. Neat. Um, we also pick up some stuff around camp, but we don't really need to because there's... So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Agreed. Well, tell me about yourself. So tell. I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Oh, all right. Or don't talk to us. <laughs> yeah, you take some warming up too. That's for sure. Oh, I should probably pick that stuff up. Even though it's rotten food and things, um, it still sells. Oh yeah, we have a magic mirror here, so we can change our appearance here as well if we ever feel the need to. However, I'm quite happy with what we chose and how we how we look and everything. There's a table here which has nothing. Yeah, see, every now and then, like you can find stuff in your own camp that's you know you can get some stuff out of, right? in magic are you uh not why do you ask no matter to worry the unlettered over. technically i am but any elder wizards let me know there is a matter i'd like to seek advice on from a master okay gail perfect all right well with that because i don't think there's anything else we can do we're all pretty sore we don't have any more um, spell slots. So we're gonna end the day. Yep. Ah. So this is one thing. So you'll see that Gale has an exclamation mark, meaning he has something that he wants to talk to us about. So let's do so. And good evening to you. Ha, you're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. It isn't trivial. What's on your mind, Gail? Or you sound a tad more dejected when we first met. Devils. Dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. <laughs> now yep. we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. 
Not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us. Perhaps you should get some rest. Brooding will get us nowhere. Action will. Or what can I say but that you're right. We're in deep. You know what. <laughs> um, I'm quite happy with like playing like the plucky bard. Has had a good outlook on life, so not too worried. We'll find someone who can help us. That's the spirit. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Exactly. And then we can go to bed. So, oh, someone still wants to speak with us. Ah, Shadowheart wants to now. So every time that you do this, sometimes people want to talk. What were you two talking about? Ah. Uh, we're just discussing the next I steps. See. I'd be careful with Gale. Hmm. Don't trust him? Anyone that has me concerned, it's you. <laughs> Wasn't confiding in anyone, just talking. You like to stir things up, don't you? You it's don't trust him? All they care about is mm. power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Great. The sooner we uh, find someone to help, the better. But also, let's not abandon all caution. This is unfamiliar territory. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Let's rest. Surprise, the Starian approved that. Okay. Does the Starian want to talk now? No? Okay. Alright, bedtime. So, this is where we can just go, like, what do we want to use for our food and stuff? Um. I don't remember things giving you like extra bonuses. Maybe there are foods you can get later that do. If you have wine and stuff, yeah, you can get drunk. It's kind of funny. But yeah, we can just use that. Camp supplies for a night. I don't think anything ever happens. I don't think there's random encounters at night and stuff, so. At least not in my first playthrough. And there we go. With that, uh, we're all full on everything. Uh, level two. Yeah, we're yeah we're still a little ways away from level three, which is unfortunate. But you know that's okay. Homely clothes versus they're actually kind of neat looking. Those are not. Yeah, we'll go with those. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're going to want to put all of this stuff as wares. Um, yeah, that's one of the things too, like the gems and stuff, they're, they don't do anything in this. They are just there to sell. So that's what we will do whenever we find someone to do that. But with that, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.